Hey guys, it's Nuggetacular here, and today I am bringing you a new Sims series. So, um, I have been wanting to do the series for a while, um, but I have a lot of time to do it, and uh, I have decided that I'm going to start. So, it is the Disney Princess Challenge. Um, it's the biggest challenge with certain rules that you have. Um, and uh, the first generation is Snow White. So this version of Snow is very, very cute. Um, Snow, the rules for Snow White, for the princess challenge that I found, it was the only one that I could well, actually open up. Um, Snow White has to be female, seven children, so seven dwarves. Um, each child must have one negative trait, and they all have to be different. Um, and then each child must complete their aspirations or have an A in school. Um, and school may never answer the door for strangers or talk to elderly women, which I suspect um, a leg challenge because she can't talk to any elderly women because obviously the old hag who gave her the apple was no good. So she can't draw any elderly women because of it now. Um, I think it's going to be, be interesting. I mean, there, there's tons of generations. Um, and the, the challenge that I found in each um, princess um, as the main character in that, there's three optional generations. Um, generations are actually what we want to do, like Ariel and Pocahontas. And there's Elsa as well. Um, so I'm switching out the, uh, I don't want to do, placing them with princesses that I do want. But anyway, guys, I have already created her. Everything is done. Um, I uh, made her a house and made it very fairy tale ish it's, it's a cottage, so it's small. It would be like where, you know, snow fine, like the, the cottage that snow and dwarfs. Um, so it's, it's small, so we're going to have to end up moving eventually. Um, but I think it's a good starting spot for Snow White. Uh, I have only two bedrooms, but the second bedroom has two kids' beds already, so we can at least have two kids there before we move to a different um, So I'll just show you her outfits really quick. So this is obviously her everyday wear. I, you'll see a, um, a blue, yellow, and red theme throughout almost every single outfit, so... Because um, obviously Snow White's, those are her colors. So I gave her her classic red lip. Um, I think it's kind of perfect. Uh, so that's her everyday wear. Uh, this is her formal wear. This is Glamour Stuff Pack. That's really nice. She has red shoes on, but you can't really tell. Uh, this is her athletic wear. Oh, I didn't change her shoes. I'll do that real quick change those shoes. Um, we'll just do these. Make them red. Okay, good enough. Um, so that's her athletic wear. This is her sleeve. Really, really cute. Um, blue crop top, yellow sweatpants, and then some pink bunny slippers. Very, very cute. And this is her party wear. Red. Red. And her swimwear. Bottoms look like they're lime green, but that's the best I could find that I liked. Any and then for her tricks and aspirations, um, I gave her the big happy family generation. So she um, wants to be a loving household. Would seven, seven dwarves would actually do that for you. And obviously she's got the domestic from that. I gave her um, cheerful, the outdoors, and neat. Although I think I might change neat to, um, I can't, I guess, now, because I'm not in full edit mode. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys her. Um, I think she's really, really pretty, and I'm interested to see how this is going out. Honestly, um, all right. So we'll go into the or we'll go check out the house. Um, also, you'll see that. All right, guys. So this is the house. Like I said, I wanted a very fairy tale like feel. Um, and I think I accomplished that. Uh, so this is it right here. 
It's very, very cute. I put a bunch of trees surrounding the house to make it look more, uh, like, foresty, I guess. I don't know. Uh, lots of vines and ivy growing on the side of the house. Um, it's a nice little pathway. I've got seven gnomes in the yard, in the front yard. Um, so you can find those. They're really cute. Uh, and then I've got a nice little backyard out here as well. A little path. There's like a little well. There's a weeping willow in the back here, which is really cute. Um, a little picnic table. This little bench out here. I think the backyard is probably my favorite part of the entire house. Um, I, I just love it. It looks so nice and really, really pretty. Um, very garden-y. Very, like, cottagey, I think. Uh, and then here we have the interior of the house. Um, very clean, kind of modern. Um, I wanted to go with like a modern but still kind of modest I guess I don't know like modern yet I don't know I don't know like modern and rustic I guess at the same time it's it's leaning more towards modern though and then I also have these um, snow white paintings I've got a bunch of Disney princess like artwork um, that I got on for, from uh, custom content, which is really nice. Uh, so this is the downstairs. Got a nice little fireplace, um, living room, uh, the little kitchen here, really nice, and the dining room, which you saw already. Um, and then upstairs, we have like there. Um, just a nice little area, which I forgot to put in a computer. I don't really have any money to do that now, but um, we will put in a computer eventually right here. Uh, the study was kind of a last minute thing, so I wasn't exactly going to put it in, and then I decided to. Uh, we've got an easel here so we can make some money that way. Um, this is the kids' room when we get kids. Um, Obviously, there's toddlers, all the toddler stuff that we got in the new update is in here. So two toddler beds, toy box, box, a blarfy, a panda bear chair, and the book book bookshelf. Oh my gosh. And this is going to be Snow's room. Um, it's very, like, glam, I think. I, I used a vintage glam glamour pack and city living. Um, well, and then I've got two more Snow White themed paintings. Like this one's not really anything crazy. It says, make sure to always wash your fruit before you eat it. And um, this one is her castle. So it's kind of nice. Um, and then the bathroom is here as well. Very, very small, um, but it's still cute, I think. And yeah, guys, that is the house. Um, uh, so we will get started in playing right now. Um, I hope you guys like it. If you, if you, like, I have the house and, um, like, I built it and, and, stuff, and furnished it, being myself money, but I wanted to do that um, so that she would have a nice house to live in and not have to worry about, you know, dealing with any of that nonsense right off the bat. Um, so our main, because there wasn't really any rules against, you know, building your own house and stuff like that on the Princess Legacy Challenge that I found anyway. Um, like the other Legacy Challenge that I'm doing, I'm, you know, you can only have this much money and you can't cheat. I didn't see any of that on here. So if you guys uh, know that you're not supposed to do that, let me know in the comments down below and um, I'll like, change it, you know. So I'll have her move into a different house and, you know do the the money rules that it says to do but I think that it um turned out really nice so I hope that I can keep it <laughs> um so in in this episode I want to kind of go out and get her introduced to a couple people uh, I want to actually create her Prince Charming um and create Adam into the world um, so that we can have him. So in the next episode, we will actually go and 
find our our prince charming but for now I just want to kind of get her out of the house and um, go meet some people I I have her living currently in Newcrest so I was thinking of maybe going into like the city I don't know and meeting people there um, because I don't know and, and like I said, the one one of the rules is that we can't talk to strangers that come open the door to strangers. So, like, usually, you know how you have the welcome wagon? Um, we can't, we can't, like, she's over here cleaning the desk right now because she's a neat sim. I don't think I've ever made a neat sim before, so that's, inter like, I think that's kind of funny. Um. I think I'm actually going to have her collect some stuff, like, uh, you know, gems and whatnot, the rocks and frogs, since they're right outside our door. I think that this would be good for her to do while we're kind of broke and need the money. Uh, I don't really want her to work if I don't have to make her work, because she's a princess and princesses shouldn't work. That's my feeling. <laughs> Um, that's kind of why I want to get a, uh, get our prince, that way we can have, and we can just sit at home and clean and sing all day. Yeah. I think that'll be perfect. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I dug up a capsule. I hate these capsules. They're like worthless. Spotted eggplant frog. Somebody's coming over to talk to us and I can't who it is yet. I hope it's not an elderly lady. <coughs> it is. No, I can't tell. I think it's a girl. You can't talk to her. No. You can't. That's what I don't like. Like, I run, 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 snow, run. Oh my gosh, she's getting closer. Go here. Go, hurry. Hurry! Oh no! Don't talk to her! Don't talk to her, Snow! Come here! No, no, no. Don't do it! Don't do it! No! No! Leave us alone, lady! I broke the rules already, guys. I broke the rules already. We're not off to a good start. We are not off to a good start. It's going to be like next to impossible to um, stay away from all these elderly women. I'm kind of nervous. All right, let's see what's our worth here. So, no. so. yes. <coughs> yes. Uh Got nothing. One Dr. F. Go away from us. That one's worth some monies. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Okay, good. That was close. 75 simoleons. Sweet. Okay, so. Like I said, I think I want to go um, into the city. Um, real quick, well, maybe not. It's getting kind of late in the episode already. Let's see if we can find anybody here to talk to. Not the old lady, obviously. We don't want to talk to her. Who's this person? Is this a lid? I think it might be. child. Um, would you stop it? I saw another person over here. Is it Salim? I think it might be. I'll go talk to Salim. Say hi to him. Let's go over there and talk to him, lady. She's terrible. All right. 
I'll just come over here. There's a bunch of like collectibles we can grab. Um, oh, there's a bunch of people over here actually. Perfect. So we can go and talk to these guys. Oh my gosh. Um, um, do you guys see this guy? <laughs> Alright, I don't know guys. I... I honestly think we should probably just end this part here. And then, like I said, in the next part... Hopefully I will have Prince Charming made and we'll just have him move in to the area like real quick. I'll have him like live with maybe another prince that I want to eventually use. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys like this episode. If you have any other tips or suggestions for me, please leave them down in the comment section or if I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. Um, this is a new challenge for me. Um, but yeah, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Thanks guys. Bye.